teaching Hugo to hug me as a puppy definitely backfired. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know that feeling you get when you want to jump into a pool but you can't because it's too cold? Well, I think I found the solution. I don't think he realized what kind of punch he packed. <laughs> Good hug. I started teaching Hugo to give hugs when he was eight or nine weeks old. Initially, he was very gentle. And then as he got older, he started doing these running jumps to hugs. Oh, God. He just loves hugging me at full sprint. Oh. It doesn't hurt. He literally tucks his paws in when he tackles me so he doesn't scratch me. It's fun. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes, this is why I taught him how to hug. In about 10 weeks, we noticed that out of the blue, Hugo went blind in his right eye. With Hugo being partially blind in his right eye, Hugo had a very difficult time with heights. And so I would essentially use my back as a step stool. As he grew older, you would notice that he was always more tired. We did start to notice some real behavioral issues. Lately we've been in the car a lot and every time we're going to the vet and so he's not really like in the car much anymore. The doctors diagnosed Hugo with a liver shunt. We thought that Hugo would no longer be with us after a little bit. The surgery that the vet recommended for Hugo was very expensive, but my wife and I made a pact to each other that we would just never give up on our dog. We're really struggling to, to, to cover the cost of what he would need for surgery. If any of you wanted to donate anything, we would just really appreciate it and to, to kind of give this little guy a shot at life and, and, and the happy life that he deserves. We were completely overwhelmed by the responses. Within 30 hours, his entire GoFundMe was filled. We raised enough money to get Hugo surgery. Excuse me, I just wanted to let you know that you're still ridiculously adorable. Good, high five, pound it. Good, pound it. Hugo just began to act like a normal dog. Lucas, come on. We would just notice that each and every day he was much more responsive. He was much more relaxed. The most important part about helping Hugo with his behavioral issues was finding the right trainer. And we found that with Meredith. Yes, good sit. Meredith was able to basically teach us the foundation of how to help Hugo in the way that Hugo needed to be helped. And spin. Yes, there you go. Good boy. Now, he is the most amazing dog I can ever imagine having in my life. The relationship that we have for each other goes beyond anything I could have ever imagined a human and a dog could share. It is one of the most special things I've ever experienced in my entire life.